Hey guys, I posted this picture on my Instagram and I thought it would be good to recreate the look for you guys. So let's begin. First, I started off using my Urban Decay, Urban Decay Primer Potion and this pretty much helps the eyelid, the eyeshadow stay on, you know, all day, won't budge, won't smudge, it won't crease. So it's always good to use the eye primer. Next, I went into my Amrezy palette using the color Vanilla. I used that to highlight my brow bone. And then with the fluffy blending brush, I just use that to blend out the color. Next, as a transition color, I used Caramel. And this pretty much helps all your colors that you use on top of this to blend out effortlessly and gives it a flawless look. I went in with Morocco and I put this into in my crease and a little bit above my crease. And pretty much using windshield wiper motions going back and forth. And I just blended it out as well. Next I went in with Deep Plum and I put this in my inner crease to deepen up the look and to just give it more of um, a sultry kind of look. I applied that in the crease and on the outer V shaped of my eye. And blend, blend, blend. Next using the color Topaz, I put this all over my eyelid area. And I decided I want the eyelids to pop a little more, so I went in and used my NYX Pearl Mania in the color Mink. And I just used a detailer brush. I sprayed some Fix Plus on, on top, and I just applied that to my lid all over the Topaz color. And again, you just want to make sure you blend everything out so that you can't tell where one eyeshadow began and where the other one ended. You just want it to be sort of like a gradient. And sometimes applying the lid color, you lose some of your crease color. So I just went back in with Morocco and Z Plum and reapplied those colors into my crease. And I used the makeup um, towel to clean up any fallout that I had. Next, I, to prep my face, I used the Fix Plus and then I applied Max Prep and Prime Natural Radiance as a face primer. This helps my foundation to stay on and stay in place. Going back to the eyes, I used my Inglot Gel Liner in number 77 and created a little bit of a dramatic winged eye. I made sure to stay very close, as close as possible, to my lash line. So after this, I pretty much went ahead and applied my falsies. I used the Eyelore Natural Lights No. 55 um, off camera because the struggle is very real. <laughs> Next, using my Prep and Prime Highlighter Pen in Peach Luster, I just pretty much use that to cover any dark areas um, on my face. And I just blended that out using a small stippling brush. And then I went in with my Beauty Sponge to just blend everything out. Next, I use Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation Stick in Chestnut. I think that's number eight. Sprayed some Fix Plus on my buffing brush from Real Tex Techniques to blend out my foundation. I love this foundation. It practically looks like skin. It's medium to full coverage, but I just do maybe medium coverage. I don't like full coverage foundation. I don't really think that I need it. So medium coverage is about as far as it goes for me. Share to medium coverage. Next, using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the number 30, I use that to highlight 
the parts of my face where the sun would naturally hit. So that would be underneath my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my chin. I don't usually highlight my forehead, but I did it for the purposes of the video. And on top of that, I just blended in um, my Peach Luster highlighter pen. And then I used my finger to blend it out. And on top of that, I used my beauty sponge to really blend everything out. I don't usually like a stark white highlight. I like it to be very natural. And then I took my foundation brush to smooth out the edges so you wouldn't see any harsh lines. And then I just blended on my nose, bridge of my nose, chin, forehead, Cupid's bow. <laughs> then I took my MSF in dark to set the concealer. And then I went in and took my MSF in deep dark, which is my regular face powder. Next, I just went back to my eyes. I used my Sephora retractable black eyeliner and just put that in my lower lash line. Then I took Deep Plum and I put that below my lash line just to smoke it out just a little bit, but not too much. And then I went in with Morocco to warm up the brown underneath. And then I use Legend in my inner tear duct. Next to contour, I use the Anastasia uh, contour powder in Carbos. And it's just a slight contour, nothing too serious. On top of that, to blend it out, I use my CoverGirl bronzer in Ebony Bronze. I love, love, love this bronzer. It's the best thing to ever happen to me. <laughs> For blush, I decided to use MAC Raisin to add some color back into my face. And this is just a really pretty blush. It just gives you natural color. Um, I love this blush. It's my go-to blush for just about everything. Next for the glow, <laughs> I got so hyped because I love, I love a glow. I used MAC Loose Powder in Bronze. After that, I just use a big stippling brush to blend out everything. Next, I use Maybelline Voluminous Mascara on my lower lashes. Next, for lips, I went in with MAC Night Moth as a liner. Um, just to line my lips. And then I also use it in the corner of my lips as well to darken up the lipstick that I'm about to use. I use MAC Sin, and it's a really pretty cranberry color very very appropriate for fall just a nice wine looking color I use fix plus to set my makeup and to take away all the powder so it just gives me a natural finish and this is the end of the look I'm very happy with it I hope you guys like it as well let me know what you think don't forget to like subscribe comment share and let me know what you think of the video I also forgot to mention that I have filled in my brows with the Anastasia Duo Brow Powder in Ebony. I did all I did that prior to filming this. Um, I just thought I'd mention that. Thanks for watching, and until next time. <laughs>